Pycon, y'all know y'all saw Pycon. It's all for everybody. He started to push it back, but the plot kicked in. Yeah, the plot kicked in because I thought the earth was already destroyed. And Let's get it. Subscribe to the channel. Ah, ah. Yeah, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Let me do this. Let me do this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I come with the name of God, God, God Game, and welcome back to the channel. The second channel. DJ the channel. We got Majin Buu, the ultimate menace, man. You already know, man. I'm here for Majin Buu. I think, wait, did we react to it? I don't remember. I think it probably was for Sensei. I think we were at. But I know we got react to some CJ here, too. I mean, a Sensei here, too. So you already know, man. How your day been? Your day been doing right? My day been so. So, you know, you already know. Link up in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Whatever right for the do, man. I'm slow, man. I'm slow, man. I'm slow, man. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. I am God, guys. Let's do the video once we eat. Wait, what did that? Uh, uh, for copyright. Yeah, we know, bro. We know about that copyright stuff. They be tweaking. Let's see. He walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. Oh, that other Majin Buu. Buu looks at her and he says, Do oh, you like eggs? And turns her into a literal egg. I thought he, he turned into a like cannon. Scramble, bitch. Dang. Think with that face. No. Love that intro, bro. Let's get it. Show me the way. There you go. Menaces. Truly terrifying creatures. Let's get it. The rarest breed of the anime character in today's society. Their ignorance, disrespect, and disregard for human life it. is just unmatched. That is why we made a round table for these rare breeds of menaces. And the person leading that charge is a little pink ass <laughs> This absolute hey, menace, boom. absolute demon. The ultimate black air force, Majin Buu. This thing is the ultimate personification of a hood. Like th this ain't even like a black air force. This is a black Tim, a Fila, a Shaq, a damn Fubu. This little nigga is just absolutely terrifying. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, Kid Boo. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. That, that, hey, Kid Boo scared, scared the crap out of me bro, when I first saw him, bro. Like, cause I was like, yo, no, Goku can't beat that dude, but Cheetah can't beat him. And I'm thinking like the planet Earth about to be destroyed. Kid Boo, you, bro. I'm like, I'm like, hey, 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 I'm like, yo, Kid Boo just he up now. There's a reason he's at the front. So, uh, I already know your boy got the evidence on deck. And it is finally time to observe the ultimate menace. So, without further ado, <clears throat> Exhibit A. Exhibit A. Let's get it. Oh, so, right, ladies and gentlemen. So, as we know, Majin Boo has multiple various forms. He dang so do. He gets even worse, worse to just outright what the. F so, obviously, we have to start from the beginning. So I present to you Exhibit A, Fat Boo. So as we know, Goku and Vegeta are fighting right now, and that's giving all the energy for Boo to wake up. So when Boo hatches out his shell and everybody sees him, everybody's looking like, you telling me this fat ass Captain D's Patrick Star Kirby looking motherfucker is a terror of the universe? Then he got a Kirby song in the background with it. Come on, man. <laughs> you gotta be Look at Gohan, man. Oh my God, Gohan. Be kidding, right? Like, look at the he's waddling so Debor is looking at bobby like really my boy you was really hyping all this up <laughs> what a pity so then boo looks over at him and he's like boy i know you ain't talking shit with that receding ass hairline like god damn you know for vegeta yeah so then boo starts scheming and then he smiles at him and he swings and gouges <laughs> out his eyes look at him he's like nah 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 boo boo shut your stupid mm. ass up Ooh. hey yo this man laid out the demon king with a kick. Look at Gohan. He like Gohan all fro Gohan folding up and stuff. You supposed to be the, the strongest one. Ain't no way, boy. I just had boy, a whole three episode fight with this man, and he just kicked him like a rag doll. Ah, hell no. I swear. Go. So why they flying booting already caught up? He's like, oh, where y'all think y'all going? The fun just mm. getting started. Mm. Supreme Kai. He like, oh my god. I'm about to die. Man Real. straight up clapped his Ooh. face. He just started beating the brace off his ass. Mm. Then this man comes from the top rope like the big show and sits Ooh. on his ass. <laughs> his ribs 
his but when I first saw that part, I was like, oh my god, hey, I ain't gonna lie, I was like, oh man, the superheroes are finna get defeated. Villain gang, bro, you already know. His organs, his spine. Oh, that man is done. So then Gohan comes in and tries to stop him, but who said, get your bum Ooh. ass on my sight? Mm. Home run. Just a, just a plain bomb, just a plain power bomb, bro. God, sit my boy flying. So then Deborah comes back and tries to lay the hands on him again, but he literally turns this man into a cookie and he straight up devours this in one bite. Oh, nah, bro. This man literally just turned the Demon King into it's a like damn cookie. gingerbread man and devoured him in one bite. So then that one, I'm like, that one, that one, I started on like, yo, Majibu can literally tear everyone to cannon, bro, like cookies and stuff. That ultimate all uh, thing right out that little thing on his head. And Vegeta pulls up, but <laughs> come on, y'all. It's they don't, they don't know one let Vegeta get no dub, bro. Vegeta. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Vegeta's my favorite character, and I already knew he was gonna get his ass beat. So he wraps him up and traps him. And look at him skipping. He's like, hippity <laughs> doo da. I'm about to whoop that ass. Yippee. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> Straight up booted, man. Then he comes from the top rope again and. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No, no real Damn. Hurt. This blood just started pounding him. Me, 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 <laughs> or so we thought. Uh, this man really rebuilt himself and he is still kicking, bro. So after this, Boo just goes on a complete rampage. They went to this one city, so he's like, I. Right. It's that Kirby song in the background for me, bro. That's your fun. I love it. Everybody bring that up. So then he's like, I. Right, what yeah, I'm eat them all. Cake or candy? Mm, candy. So he turns everybody in that city into candy. The man started garbled. inhaling them like Kirby. And Kirby. this man just really gobbled up this entire town in the amount of seconds. Then he decided to spit it out. And bro just laid out the entire city. Then he went to the next one, lifted them up, and turned every single one of them into a chocolate bar. So after this, Goku finally pulled up and pulled out SS3. It's three. You know, like screaming his ass off for like the entirety of the damn episode. Man was looking like he was taking the fattest doodle of his life. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. Goku was beating the brace off his though. Man grabbed him by his antenna and started playing paddle ball with him. Look at him. Boing, 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 boing. Bro looks like he is doing this with no effort. Then he throws him into an entire building. Why would you throw him in a building with a whole lot of citizens there, bro? Like, come on. Goku don't know a thing. I say like, Goku don't think before he get into his thing, bro. Bro, Goku, bro. I thought you was all about saving the people of Thank Earth, you. but apparently not. Bro, chucked him into a bunch of innocent people. Innocent bystanders. Into a building with probably people still in it. And look at him, he like, man, f them. We we'll wish him back with the Dragon Balls. So After all, he is a Saiyan though. He ain't, you know, he a Saiyan, not a human. So you know. But then Goku powers down and he's like, all right, listen, my boy, I'm about to run out of time, so I got a proposition for you. Wait two days, and there's gonna be a warrior that's gonna wanna box you. And also, stop listening to that bum ass chameleon. Like, for real, my boy, you show off him. So after Goku dips, he was like, man, you know what? He was right. So he grabs him and punches his head off. Then bro chunked him and blew him to smithereens. Then look at him, he's like, ah, yes. <laughs> Boo, free man. Hip hip hooray, no more bum ass chameleon. So later on, he's flying around, and then he's like, Ugh. Boo getting tired, man. So he stops in the middle of the road in front of this truck. So the dude in the truck like, hey, get your fat ass off the road, huh? So Boo turns around and he says, mister, I have a question. Am I handsome? Then the dude in the truck like, hell no, nah, nigga, you get no bitches. Now get the fuck out the road. Then he looks at him and he's like, sit your stupid ass up. <laughs> truck who ain't got shit on me. So then he says, you know what? This is a good spot for a house. So he lifts everybody up, turns them into Play-Doh, and builds a literal house out of them. Dang. And it's dead ass on creative mode at this point. So after this, yeah, some arts and crafts though. Boo continues his rampage. So he sees these boats and he's like, hmm, Boo play with boats. So this man starts skating on the water and bro blasted through the ship. So homie right here is drowning. So then he grabs on the Boo. Boo's looking at him like, Nigga, 
Get your <laughs> ass off me. The dog yeah. sent him to the moon. And use a Team Rocket thing. So then Gotenks pulls up, and you already know this man talking shit. And it's like, you fat Captain D's Big Mac number one combo, bitch ass. N oh, don't think I'm done. Oh, Pillsbury dope Wait boy looking ass. Bitch. Oh, 2012. That's another he Riley in the. Can't okay, hold me. That's a Riley right there. I want to be Riley right now for the boondock. Back, Rick Ross looking ass. But but y'all already know Boo was not having that disrespect. So we just started beating the brakes off his little ass. And I'm like, stop playing with me. Then he picks my piece like, oh yeah, he was talking about that good a second ago. And now look at you, beat the mm. up. Man, send that boy to the shadow room. So then after this, Mr. Satan pulls up. Hey, they playing right actually up. become friends. So they outside playing with this dog. Yep. And this hunter ends up shooting Got the dog. Him. So Boo's like, oh my God, what, what, what is this debauchery? He started having feelings. He catching emotion in his feelings. It, it, am I feeling some type of sympathy right yes, now? Yes, you Absurd. are. Absurd. So after this, Boo starts steaming again, and then he shoots out this cloud, and in that cloud is another Boo, but he's I like that Boo right now too. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I like he's skinny and all that too, with the vest and all that, yo, with the baggy. Dang, he was just skinny. Skinny and he's gray. Then he walks up to him and he's like, hey, nigga, did I just catch you feeling some type of sympathy? We don't do that bitch. So he starts punishing this man, beating the absolute brakes off of him. So Boo shoots his beam at him, but bro blows it away and it hits him and he turns into chocolate. And mm. bro just ate him. And then he starts to transform. So yeah, that was exhibit A and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B. Get it. Super Boo. Super so boo. as we can see, Boo has turned into Super Boo. And this is where it just started to get outlandish. So the first thing that this man does is jump in homie's mouth. Oh! No, like for real, like this is like actually disgusting. I'm not showing this. But anyways, though, he ends up blasting off to the lookout. So when he gets to the lookout, he's like, all right, listen up. I was promised a fight two days ago that there's going to be some strong ass. So produce that ass. Come on now, chop, chop. Don't be shy. So yeah, Piccolo ends the hell? up making a grave mistake. So Goten and Trunks aren't ready to fight. So he ends up saying, there's plenty of other people on Earth that you can kill for your amusement. Oh, you my wait. God. So Boo's like, all right, bet. So he starts walking around the lookout and he's surveying how many humans are left alive right now. So after he's done, he lifts up his hand and, and uses poof. human extinction attack. And he straight up deletes the entire human population. Dang, Piccolo had to take that L right now, bro. Why you did that, Piccolo? So after he's done. But at the same time, you can wish the Dragon Ball, so you know, hear what it is. He's like, all right, I'm done. Now bring that ass. So Piccolo's like, all right, listen, listen, my boy. Just give us one hour. That's all we need. And bro's like, an hour? Hell no. So then Fidel starts talking. She's like, it's just an hour. I hope he's not scared or you're a chicken. Then Boo looks at her. He's like, shut your stupid ass up with that cell saga Gohan cut you got going on right now. Matter of fact, I should just kill you. So then Piccolo's like, yo, just chill out, bro. And just wait the hour. So about five minutes later, while Boo's waiting, Chi Chi does one of the dumbest things I have ever seen. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the and Boo just right there, Jay. bro. Why? A face. So then Boo looks at her and he says, "Do you like eggs?" And turns her into a literal egg. Hey. And he said, "I like my scramble, bitch." <laughs> God, he literally turned her into an egg and stomped her like a roach. And, and then what a Goten just looking. Ain't that go, Goten? Goten, whatever, just looking at it. In front of her son? <clears throat> oh my God. So about half the time passes now and Boo's like, you know what? I'm done with this wait. Bring that ass now. Piccolo was like, bro, it's only been 30 minutes. But like, ah, 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 ah. I'm done with this if I don't get this fade right now, I'm deleting all y'all. So Piccolo takes him to the hyperbolic time chamber so he can fight Gotenk. So he's back there and he's like, really? These little goofy ass niggas? I right, bet then. So they start to do the fusion dance, but Boo blitzes trunks and socks. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I laughed when I first saw that part. Oh boy, that, that, was, that was a dirty move by, hey, yo. 
Yeah, what it is. I laughed when I first saw that right up, boy. So Trunks is like, yo, bro, chill. How you gonna attack an S Transformer, bro? That's anime rule number one. You just committed taboo. So when they finally fused, Boo's like, oh, it's you. All right, I ran your fade once, but <laughs> I guess I'll do it again. So yeah, bro, Boo was just bullying him again. Bro straight up juggled the man's and sent him all the way back to the door. Like, look at man's bro. He's just chilling, living his best life. So after this, Piccolo ends up destroying the hyperbolic time chamber. So he's like, ha now nobody can get out of here. So Boo's like, ain't no way, bro. Boy, ain't no way, boy. If I'm stuck in here, I ain't getting no more candy. Oh, now this just won't do. So this man literally screamed a hole and teared open the dimension. So bro just straight up slithered away. So he comes back outside and starts looking at everybody. And then he says, Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Chocolate everywhere. This man just turned the entire cast into chocolate. Bro straight up devoured their souls. So later on when he's fighting Gotenks again, they end up unfusing. So bro just fell asleep. Bro said it ain't even worth it at this point. So then ultimate gohan pulls up and, and this man wanted all the smoke but straight up stared homie down and said i'm gonna kill you and he started laying the hands on them that was nice looking man. like he was fighting cell again but of course it didn't last long man straight up absorbed go tanks and piccolo and gohan literally sat there and watched him do it so then after this it was raps bro he was beating the brakes off of gohan so then tn shows up <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this seriously. Hey, TN was my favorite back in the day, man. Uh, hey, you can't. Hey, TN was my favorite when he was on Final with Napa, ain't it? With him for Cheetah. Hey, he was my favorite, bro. <laughs> TN? Yeah, bro, no, get your ass out of here. And then bro just ended up absorbing Gohan, too. So then he ends up smacking around Goku and Vegeta like they some damn ragdolls. So then they have to resort to using Vegito. The man, oh man. This was a undeniable ass whooping. Vegeta was smacking him the fuck up. Like, this wasn't even funny. So after Goku and Vegeta beat the brakes off of Boo and rescue everybody that he's absorbed, he starts to transform again. And dear God, it's time for Exhibit C. So, without yeah, further ado, Exhibit C. Yeah, All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached the climax. And Lord have mercy, may God help us all. Exhibit C consists of Kid Boo. So as we can see, Boo is transforming right now from this really big buff form. And Supreme Kai is losing his mind right now. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God, it's him. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. The ultimate Black Air Force. No, 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 let me not even say that. The ultimate menace. Kid Boo. So Vegeta's like, <laughs> look, Kakarot, the little n got smaller. And they hella confident right now. So while this is happening, Supreme Kai is having PTSD right now. Bro's like, yo, this is the dude that killed all of the Kais. West Kai, dog. North Kai, dog. South Kai, gobbled up. Grand Supreme Kai, dead. You wanna know why I became Supreme Kai? Cause everybody else is dead. So stop acting like sh is sweet. So Boo starts admiring the scenery. So bro's like, hmm. Time to assert my dominance. Then right after he's done, he shoots a key blast immediately. So Vegeta stops it from hitting, and Goku's like, yo, this nigga was about to blow up the planet. So then Vegeta's like, hey, yo, try that again, nigga. I wish you would. So Boo turns around and looks at him. He's like, all right, then. So mm. he starts charging a up a ginormous one. one. So Goku's like, yo, chill. But Boo just smiles. Bro said, bye bye. They wiped the planet. Completely this wiped the planet. He just showed up, blew up the planet for no reason at all, and didn't even say a word. You know, villains always be saying, hmm, I'm going to destroy Earth. Freeze him. Nah, not Kid Boo, bro. Boy, I built different. Fair. Well, I mean, he did do it in Resurrection F, though, but he did it like a Cell, I'm gonna blow up the Earth, and there's nothing you can do. Fair. Boo. Bro didn't even say a word. He just did it. I mean, we should have known he was about that life when the first episode he shows up in is called The End of Earth. 
So after this, this man rebuilds himself almost immediately, learns instant transmission, then starts going from planet to planet, blowing up every single one searching for Goku and Vegeta. Man said, that fate is not running away from me. So then Boo does one of the craziest things I have ever seen. And this is where he submitted himself in my books as the ultimate menace. He went to heaven to beat the brakes off a of dead I beg your pardon? He went to go get more smoke from the dead ops. Look at Krillin and Yamcha. They like, oh my God, bro. Ain't no way this is happening right now. Boo said, f*** that rest in peace. I'm whooping that ass again. So this man starts beating the brakes. PyCon. Yeah, I know y'all thought PyCon. It's all for everybody. Oh my God, bro. He hit Krillin with a three-piece combo. Then started suplexing him with his antenna. So now this man is ready to wipe everybody from existence. But then he senses Goku and Vegeta again. And he's like, oh. Time to go. Like, bro, imagine you are in heaven resting for eternal peace and you see your op come trying to get some more smoke. Like, bruh, that, that's just outlandish. So he pulls up to the Kai world and he's like, ah, yes, <laughs> my fade. So he starts fighting Goku. And while he's fighting this man, this man starts emoting laughing and dancing while he's pummeling this man. Look, bro can't even form words, but he's still talking sh <laughs> You bitch nigga. But ladies and gentlemen, what we really have to get to though is the absolute violation, absolute ass whooping he gave to Vegeta. Like, good God, he was pummeling this man. Bro saying, hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to make your hairline more f***ed up than it already is. So Vegeta just e ends up getting laid out. But then he ends up. I ain't, like, I, like, I ain't like how they did for Cheetah, bro. But you know, it what it is. Getting back up, so Boo's like, hmm. So you want to be a Black Air Force, huh? I right, then consider this initiation. So Bra ends up indenting his foot in his spine. Then the nigga said, go moon, no moon, no. And started choking the life out of man. Bro, oh my God. And that was all she wrote for Vegeta. He, he was done. So then Mr. Satan wanted some smoke, but. Come on, bro. My toes! My organs. My feet! So then Fat Boo pulls up. So Kid Boo like, hmm, ooga booga booga. If it isn't the big ass bubba gum shrimp looking mother So we just started welling on Fat Boo, bro is welling on himself. He is fading the good version of himself. Look at him, bro decided to take a whole time out on him. Then he grabs him and starts gut checking him. Bro said, I'm about to make you lose your breakfast, lunch, and your dinner. And Fat Boo was done too. So the way they had to beat this man is just absolutely mind boggling. They had to get everybody, the whole damn earth, to give this man Goku some energy so he could extinguish this damn menace. The thing is he started to push it back. But the plot kicked in. Yeah, the plot kicked in because I thought the earth was already destroyed. Man. And the ultimate menace was slain. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why little homie sits in the front. Like some of the stuff he was doing was just unexplainable. He faded the entire cast, blew up the earth on the first episode he showed up in, faded his ops. I'm saying he blew up the earth, but then the spirit bomb in heaven, as well as deleting the entire human population. <laughs> Dog. So yeah, that's basically it. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to follow your boy on IG and Twitter. I'll have the poll up for the next video the day after this is uploaded. And uh, I'm out of here. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, man. Kid Buddha already. You already know, man. He got things. He do things. He do things big. You already know. Villain game on all day. So you already know. Leak up in the description. Like